Ian's storm surge has been so sudden, so vast, that anyone on level ground can be in trouble fast. Even when the storm passes, rivers replace roads, roofs largely gone. Rescuers prepared to cut their way into homes if needed. You really want to get out there and really try to find as many people as you can and help out. Uh, we're doing what we can. On the ground, babies and children are pulled from danger. A nursing home in Orlando evacuated, even as its halls fill quickly with water. So overwhelmed are emergency services, this crowdsource site is now listing rescue requests. Help needed from anyone who can offer it. Great. These are people coming from all over the country. I mean, they're coming from Louisiana, Alabama, Texas. But that help, thousands of troops will take time. This is Fawcett ICU. Leaving many, including these hospital workers, to fend for themselves after Ian tore the roof off with patients still inside. You want me to come out? Why, you might ask, is the driver of this car even out? Well, look closely. She's wearing scrubs. Maybe a healthcare worker trying to get to work. Look down there. That is a Cuban migrant who swam to shore, his boat lost in the storm. Nine made it safely. It's not known how many didn't. As the storm churns ahead on its path, catastrophe is left in its wake. There is no sense how many still need rescue, how many will run out of food, how many homes are a complete loss, or how many are already dead. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.